Hi, this is Lily Kutula, licensed psychotherapist in the state of California. I specialize in plant medicine. The topic today is the schism in Alcoholics Anonymous of what is considered to be sobriety. In particular, what I want to focus on is that Bill W. in his later years in the 50s included LSD in his spiritual journeying because he found the 12 steps so successful in terms of his sobriety and he had a spiritual awakening already um, without the use of LSD. However, he was seeking help for the group of Alcoholics Anonymous, for those who struggled with chronic relapsing and who just couldn't grasp the essence of pure spirituality and the, the lessening or the decreasing of the ego and being able to blend with universe and pure knowing and going beyond the constructs of what we have been taught. He believed that LSD was beneficial for those chronic relapsers for which the program was simply not successful. Research shows that Alcoholics Anonymous helps 5% of people who attend meetings. There was a study done by Saskatchewan Indians in the early 1950s that incorporated LSD. They opened up their own clinic and they had a 15% recovery rate by using this psychedelic substance to enhance the connection with the universe and the sense of purpose of life and happiness. I want to quote um, something that I read. This is of Bill W. When using LSD, his doors of perception cleared. He comprehended the essential all rightness of the universe, the reconciliation of opposites. So for those of you who struggle as a chronic relapser, I encourage you to investigate or explore ibogaine as a plant medicine to assuage your ailment. Thank you.